Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? So in this video, I've got something really cool to show you that uh, I'm actually really happy with, and uh, I hope you guys like it too. So in this video, I'm attempting to build an automated door unlock and lock system. Basically what this device does is it unlocks and locks your door wirelessly over Wi-Fi. So basically I could be anywhere in the world with internet access and unlock and lock this door. So some reasons this might be useful, say someone's at your door, you're not there, um, but you want to let them in. Well there you go. With the press of a button you can let them in and no trouble needed. Alright so let me walk you through how this actually works. So to do this project, I used two main components, one of which is a cloud bit. I think it's by a company called Little Bits. But uh, basically what this does is it's a wireless Wi-Fi controlled on-off switch. 
Um, this is super useful. I think I made a video of this like maybe a year or two back. Um, but it's honestly just super useful to have and there's so many applications to do with it. All you have to do is just set it up, link it to your Wi-Fi, and uh, when you go into the website and log into your account with a press of a button, you can control whatever you hooked up to the circuit. So if this sounds at all interesting to you, I will drop a link to this down in the description as well. So attached to the cloud bit, uh, I added a servo. So basically whenever I trigger the cloud bit, the servo will turn. And then the way I hooked up the servo to the door is through this lever arm right here. Uh, Cause I actually found out that the servo is not strong enough to turn the door without this uh, mechanical advantage that I have here. Uh, but once I added this lever arm, it works no problem 100% of the time. So the lever arm is attached to the doorknob, which is attached to a string, which is attached to a servo that I attached to the door. And when the servo turns, it pulls the string, which pulls the lever, which turns the doorknob and opens the door. Um, I should mention that the way this door works is when you turn the doorknob from the inside, it'll open or close, but the doorknob from the outside will not unless it's unlocked. Some doors are different, so uh, if you're thinking about using a system like this on your own door, um, you might have to take that in consideration, maybe put the servo attached to your deadbolt or uh, something like that. All right, so the servo goes back to the cloud bit um, and the cloud bit is powered by a USB port um, and I'm just running this off of a USB battery pack for the time being. Um, eventually, I'm probably gonna hardwire it into a, uh, a wall power source so I can leave it on forever. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna last quite a while though because I don't think this module takes up that much power especially if it's in standby mode like 99% of the time. To house it all, I basically just took an old box with a magnet in it and stuck all the components inside and glued them down. Then I fed the wires out of the box to the servo, uh, which I also connected to the door. And then for one final touch, I actually added a light as well. Um, and I ran this light up to my peephole and uh, attached it in there. So from the other side of the door, whenever the circuit is activated, the peephole actually glows bright. And it's a really cool notification um, just to let me know that the circuit's actually working. So if for some reason the door's not opening, I at least know that the circuit is uh, registering and uh, that it's not the circuit's problem, it's actually just the servo. Plus, in my opinion, it's just a really cool notification to know that your door has been unlocked. Like, you wouldn't expect the peephole to just glow and the door to automatically open itself and swing open without you even having to touch the doorknob. I just think it's a really cool touch. Plus, if you caught my last video, I actually showed you guys that peepholes are actually very vulnerable, um, and all you need to bypass them is a pair of binoculars. Um, so I'm probably not gonna end up using my peephole anymore, and uh, this way it's covered up, and I can actually get some sort of functionality out of it. So uh, I have a few plans for this uh, in the future. Like this uh, Little Bits app can actually be hooked up to uh, IFTTT, which is uh, another online web service called If Thens Then That. It basically allows you to connect a whole bunch of things to a whole bunch of other things. So you can set a bunch of things as triggers and a bunch of things as actions. So here's just a few of the uh, apps that can be triggers and uh, obviously any of these can control the cloud bit that I have installed and therefore open my door. So I could do like a location service. So if I ever got close to this door, it would uh, automatically open. I wouldn't need to touch anything. Um, I might even be able to do a microphone aspect where if I put in a certain knock, I'll be able to open the door. Uh, I don't know, that one's gonna be a little hard, but I really wanna get that working. But yeah, you get the idea. The possibilities with this are pretty much endless. Um, I could even open this with like an Instagram post or actually a phone call, which uh, I think is a really cool idea. I actually tried this and uh, it ended up working pretty well. Uh, but anyway, drop your ideas down in the description of uh, cool ways that you would like to see me make this door open. I'm actually really interested in uh, hearing what you guys have to say about this. So yeah, please let me know if you have any interesting ideas that you would like to see me do. So I really like doing projects like this, as opposed to all the spy stuff I do. Don't get me wrong, like I love the cool stuff, but uh, this I think is more meaningful. And uh, even though the videos are a little bit more difficult to make, uh, I'm gonna try to do a lot more of it. Let's go ahead and smash that like button if you like these cool projects that are actually useful. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for subscribing and uh, keep coming back to my videos. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for this one. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.